Genesis 7 verse 12 And the rain fell forty days and forty nights. We've had a very wet week, very wet few weeks here in Cornwall. In fact, our local weather station across the bay in St Ives has recently put out a statement on their website that although January isn't finished, we've had more than 120% of our annual rainfall, is what I worked out the maths to be. And I can well believe it because it feels like it's been raining for a very, very long time. But what we're experiencing here in Cornwall really is nothing in comparison to the rainfall that other people experience in other parts of the world. So, for instance, the annual rain event that happens over Southeast Asia called the monsoon. A friend of mine spent a year in India volunteering, and her accounts of the monsoon make our rain feel a bit like a light shower. And we see the effects each year of the monsoon when we see the floods in Bangladesh and in India and other parts of Southeast Asia. And so I consider myself extremely blessed because while it is horrible that the, the floods that we have each year claims property and lives, it is simply the weather of our planet that we've learned to adapt to or not, as the case may be. It is not a biblical style extinction event that we re read about in the book of Genesis when we read about Noah's flood. Because in the biblical account of the flood, it doesn't just rain. Water came up from the depths of the earth in heaven. So we got water coming from above, we got water coming from below. No wonder things get drowned. It came up, as I said, from, it came up from the ground, it came down from below. Wherever it came from, what we see is God determined to make sure that only those in the ark. So Noah and the animals, Noah and his family in the ark, are the only things that survived. Something that can never happen again because God has promised that he would not destroy the earth by flood. And something that I'm eternally grateful for, that it doesn't matter how hard it rains, it can never completely wipe out humankind, wipe out all of creation. And as I said, I'm grateful for that, though if I'm honest, I really do wish it would stop raining. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and forevermore. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.